Okay, this is our prototype for the whole system that we've designed. Uh, firstly, let me explain what exactly UPS uh, existing system is. Normally, people have this device in their house, it's 500 watts or 1000 watts. We're using 1000 watts, it's a regular UPS, it's about 60-70% efficient. Uh, you connect it to the grid, and whenever you have electricity, it just goes direct to your appliances. There's a connection here which goes to your appliances. Whenever there's no grid, it uses the battery to um, supply power to your appliances. And normally whenever you have the grid, it just keeps on charging the battery and keeps it sort of uh, completely controls. Whenever it's charged, it stops charging. When it's, whenever it's below the capacity, it keeps on uh, charging it. What we've um, done in our project is to use solar panels um, as an additional support to the battery uh, through a certain uh, system that we designed here. These are the panels that we got. Now they're connected to this um, charge controller directly. This charge controller, the wires go directly into the battery. It keeps on charging the battery. If you have enough 12 volts, um, as per depending on the sunlight, you're gonna ha you're gonna keep charging the battery. If not, then this charge controller is gonna stop giving a, head, a power head. And also for for the purposes of our experiment, we're gonna have a meter installed, uh, which we have right now over here. It's gonna be after this connection, so that it keeps. We know how many watts we've gotten from solar panels, so we can tell uh, people that this is the extra amount you got. Another independent uh, thing is going to be this relay. The purpose of this is going to be, if you have the main grid, uh, the main electricity coming in, and it's uh, UPS is running as usual, if you have enough solar energy, then it's going to switch the main grid off, so that this battery can be charged from the solar power and so that you save on the electricity at that point in time. If the sunlight is not enough, then it's just going to switch the grid back on and depending on if you have electricity or not, depending on the status of your uh, UPS is going to determine how to charge or not to charge the battery. Um, we're going to need another meter um, over here between the UPS and the battery to judge how much the main grid um, charge the battery. So we have two figures. One is going to be the additional power provided by the solar and also how much power the main grid give uh, uh, to the battery. Also, uh, the charge controller does one thing is that if your power, uh, if the battery is charged fully, then it just stops charging in itself. doesn't matter if the grid is off or on or whatever. It just stops charging the battery. And this switch is going to uh, switch the grid, grid back on. So that whatever happens, you know, electricity is there or not, the UPS is smart enough to decide what to do at that point in time. And we have another additional feature of if the battery is really low on power. Normally, what happens is in regular UPS, you keep using your appliances. If the battery is low on power, it doesn't stop, and you tend to burn your battery or your appliances. So what this extra connection is going to do is, if the battery drops below, for example, 10.5 amperes, then it's going to disconnect your appliances instead of burning the battery or or, or your appliances. This is going to uh, help us. So this is our uh, circuit of the right now.